Hi, welcome to Frickin' Chicken 101. Today on the show, we're gonna teach you how to truss a chicken, debone a chicken, and <laughs> eight cut a chicken. Helping me out today is gonna be my sous chef, Brent. What's up? After washing your hands, you wanna make sure you select the correct chicken. Um, you're gonna just look at the chicken, make sure there's no feathers or any um, flaws on the skin. And then you're gonna turn the chicken over and check inside to make sure there's no gizzards, livers, neck, bones, or um, anything that could affect the taste of your chicken while cooking it. Properly truss a chicken, you want to hook the string around the wings after you tuck them in at the second joint. You'll then pull tightly over the thigh and under the drumsticks. If you prefer a tighter truss, simply come back around to the wings and knot it again. And that is how you truss a chicken. As you can see, the wings are close to the body as well as the legs. And if we turn this over, you can see that everything is nice and compact. And that's how you truss a chicken, ladies and gents. In this segment of the show, I'm going to show you all how to do an eight cut chicken. Um, the knives I'm going to be using today is the basic chef knife and a boning knife and I also have my steel. The first step to egg cutting a chicken is that you want to take your chef knife, um, go all the way to the front of the chicken and just press down and make a nice cut. See, And we're also going to do that for the other side. The second step to deboning a chicken is to remove the breast. If you feel down the two breasts, there will be a bone. We call this a keel bone. And when you're doing this, you want to cut as close to the bone as possible because you do not want to ruin the breast meat. The third step in this process is you're going to make a cut in between the breast and the thigh. The fourth part of this process is to separate the leg and the thigh. Um, to do this, you want to cut in between the joint. So to do this, you want to make a simple cut. You want to make sure it's strong and that you don't catch the bone. And there you have your leg and your thigh. Step five, we're going to cut the chicken breast into two equal parts. So what we want to do is make one single movement nice and even. And here you have your eight cut chicken. In this section, I'm gonna properly teach you how to debone an entire chicken. First, you're gonna remove the spine. Next, you'll start at the keel and remove the breasts very slowly. After you've removed the meat off of the keel bone, and you've made some good progress towards the top. You want to cut that apart. Try and take out as much of the rib bone as possible until you get down to the leg and the thigh. Well, you'll have to forcibly chop off the thigh bone to get to the drumstick. When you get to the drumstick, you'll want to make a straight cut all the way down to the bone through the skin, all the way down to the bottom of the drumstick, and then slowly make your way from the top near the thigh, making small cuts around the bone, all the way down to the bottom of the drumstick. Thanks for joining us on Frickin' Chicken. Cut up our chicken for our walktastic stir fry. We added some veggies, no big deal. 
we went all chef on this dish. We added some poison sauce for some sweetness and some curry sauce for that spiciness. We do our chicken every which way. This ain't no Comedy Central roast. There's a whole chicken and scrumptious flavors roast. What you know about scrumptious flavors? This ain't the South. My care value is at an all time low. Southern fried chicken. The Southern fried chicken is addictive. Am I right, homie? Elaine, where you at? Taking the chicken game to a whole new level. An entire chicken battered, deep fried to perfection. Using Big Al's Southern chicken seasoning. So we do our seasoning, obey. Don't sleep on the bacon, bro. What, you thought we forgot? We cooked off a whole bunch of it for a sandwich as epic as the invention, a sliced bread. Whoa, sliced bread. We added some tomatoes and some green stuff and all that bacon. And at the end, Chicken stir fry, herb roasted chicken, whole deep fried chicken, southern fried chicken, one big frickin' sandwich. We're bonkers for chicken, and nobody can stop us. Ever. Wow, this is so much food. I think I might tear up. Tears of joy, though. What? I work out. Next time, we got this prime.